Let's have it then. Hi, I'm Alexia Christoffi from the Battlefield 2042 development team. Let's move! We hope you've enjoyed Season 2, Master of Arms. As it draws to a close, that marks one year of Battlefield 2042. In that time, we've heard you. Oh, nice! Your feedback has been instrumental in how we've been able to evolve and improve the game. So thank you. We're really proud of the work so far. And so any players that haven't jumped in yet, you're going to be able to do so for free. In December, there will be free access periods to Battlefield 2042 across all platforms. Whilst with the launch of Season 3, Battlefield 2042 will be available for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and EA Play subscribers. Today, we'll be giving you a further glimpse at what's to come in Seasons 3 and 4, but that's not where the Battlefield 2042 journey is going to end. We're already in pre-production on new content that will come after Season 4 next year. But now, on to Season 3. We'll be revealing it fully later this month, but in today's development update, we'll talk to you more about our areas of focus and what to expect from them. Starting with core gameplay and the return of the classic and familiar Battlefield class system that will arrive later in Season 3 as part of our 3.2 update. Since we confirmed this, we've seen thousands of comments from you all. We've collated and reviewed them as a team to help validate our plan, and we've held extensive internal playtests along with bringing in members of our community to discuss, test and play with these rework changes in place. So in our initial release, you'll see the move back to the class structure with needed balancing work, as well as the first set of design changes. Each class will receive class equipment and class gadget of choice. Weapon proficiencies will become available and provide gameplay benefits for each class. For example, Recons will be better at holding their breath whilst aiming down sights with sniper rifles. One of us is down. Irish moves to support, while Crawford moves to engineer. Irish will take Crawford's current trait, and so Crawford will receive a new trait geared towards engineer gameplay. We want Rao to fit better within the recon class, so to achieve this, Reporting for duty. we're improving communication between Rao and squad mates to highlight when targets are vulnerable. This work will continue through season four, with more design changes to other specialists, balancing changes, as well as new content arriving to fill class gadget choices. Continuing in Season 3 will be the addition of more vault weapons, a wide collection of portal weaponry unlocked through assignments. At the start of Season 3, you'll be able to fight with the XM8 from Bad Company 2, a German assault rifle hugely effective at both medium and long range. There will also be the A91 from Battlefield 3, with its high rate of fire and a little bit of unpredictability. More vault weapons will then continue to be added throughout Seasons 3 and 4. In Seasons 3 and 4, we'll continue to bring evolved versions of our existing maps from launch. You're already playing these reworked versions of Kaleidoscope, Renewal and Orbital, and in Season 3, you'll get to play on new versions of Manifest and Breakaway. Let's take a look at how they're shaping up. Manifest will be the first map update you'll receive during Season 3. It brings the flags closer together, helping to address the feedback that we've had from players and improve the flow across the map. Bringing the HG flags closer to the action, getting you in the mix and on the objective much sooner. Cover has been updated across the map, continuing our efforts to bring an updated war-torn feeling and giving you the ability to move securely around the point. Up on the hill, we've reworked the number of structures, destroying the radar station and giving you a central point of focus when attacking or defending this objective. Meanwhile, down at the docks, we've reduced the number of cranes to help create more focus and to increase the value of holding the high ground. With improvements made across the level to our lighting and visibility, new paths to traverse between flags and a brand new rush layout, Look forward to Manifest's update when it drops in Update 3.1. Then, later in Season 3, we return with our biggest overhaul yet. Breakaway has been reworked to see one of our favourite play spaces relocated to a new location. Oil Rig now sits much closer to the action, at the foot of our enormous glacier. With new ways to assault the rig and new paths on board the deck, we've ensured that one of our best features sees a lot more action. Down in the town, we've arranged the flags to create better objectives, bringing new cover, destroyed vehicles and cleaner navigation to keep the action flowing. And over on the glacier, we've simplified the area to help keep things moving, introducing all new paths through the space and two new flags, including this downed condor inside an ice cave. 
With new ice and snow shaders, this is a huge overhaul for Breakaway. And you'll deploy here later in Season 3. The reveal of Season 3 is just around the corner with a new specialist, new battle pass and more in Portal, as well as new hardware tech, events, experiences and more. There will also be a new smaller, tighter, infantry focus map in a location new for the Battlefield franchise and one close to our hearts here at DICE. Viseas for Slogfeldet. And that's it from me today. In addition to everything we've spoken about, we will continue our commitment to ongoing quality of life and performance improvements in all our updates. On behalf of all the teams continuing to work on Battlefield 2042, we can't wait for you to get your hands on Season 3, then Season 4 and beyond. And for those of you who haven't jumped in yet, you can play free this December. See you on the battlefield. Move away from the storm!